In geological time, the hillside slippage here, the hillside is moving, has made the leap to light speed. Between November and January, we noticed a uh, considerable acceleration of movement. And right in the path of a force more powerful than locomotives that run above are the water and sewer lines. We are concerned that without intervention, critical water and sewer infrastructure uh, might be in jeopardy. City Manager Harry Black and a panel of experts are calling the situation an emergency. Uh, particularly, we're concerned about the water main and the sewers that are in Riverside Drive, because uh, that's where we're showing the damage in the street, and uh, those feed all downtown, and we don't want to lose service to downtown. The plan is to build a retaining wall 1,200 feet long, that's nearly a quarter mile, shown as a red line on the map between Columbia Parkway and Riverside Drive, and just behind Lou Seiler's house. What I think is that as the city gets more data, that the data is very likely to verify what I believe, which is that the same problem exists further to the east as far as Collins Avenue. The new wall won't extend that far, but the concerns do. We were first to show you in October. It seems to be opening rather quickly. People who live here measuring the movement of the ground by the size of cracks in their concrete and walls. For city leaders to get a five to ten million dollar project like this underway, they generally have to move mountains. This time, that's the easy part. Now the situation was declared an emergency so they could get started on this project as soon as possible. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.